Hey guys, welcome back to Driving TV. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing multiple ways that you can get your license suspended. As well, for my beginner drivers, what happens when you get pulled over? What do you expect and what to do? Because I think this is something that gets us very nervous, right? Um, so let's get started. First and foremost, accumulating too many points on your driving record can lead to suspension. Each state has its own point system and once you reach a certain number your license can be suspended driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs is a serious offense that's number one because not only is it dangerous but it can also result in an immediate suspension of your license even for a first offense um, refusing to take a breathalyzer test when suspected of drinking under the influence can also lead to a license suspension Many states have implied consent laws, meaning that by driving, just simply driving, you have agreed to take these tests if requested by law enforcement. So, also reckless driving is another major reason for license suspension. This includes excessive speeding, street racing, and other dangerous behavior, like driving behaviors that put other people at risk. Failing to appear in court is another one or pay traffic line tickets, tra uh, traffic fine tickets, my bad. Those can result in your license being suspended. So it's important to take any tickets that you have or court appearances very serious and avoid consequences because it can be very, uh, very worrisome, right? If you leave these things and just don't do it and it could cost you uh, your license suspension. So avoid that. Now, driving without insurance is illegal and can lead to suspension as well. So make sure that you always have a valid insurance coverage to avoid penalties. Now, be involved in a hits and run accident where you leave the scene without even providing information or aiding the injured is a severe, severe offense that can lead to license suspension as well. Habitual traffic offenses can also get your license suspended. What do I mean? If you repeatedly break traffic laws, the state may decide, hey, you know what? Let's suspend your driving privileges because it has just been too much. So be careful. Crazy but unpaid child support is another reason. So some states, it's not every state, so make sure you look that up, will suspend your license if you fail to meet your child support obligations, just like medical conditions. So, um... Whatever impairs your ability to drive safely can result in suspension. So if a medical professional determines, hey, you know what? You're not fit to drive. Your license could be suspended until you are cleared. Finally, using your vehicle in a commission, I mean, in the commission of a crime can lead to suspension. So that includes um, transporting illegal substances or engaging in illegal activities with your vehicle. That as well can be a... Uh... <laughs> so remember, your driver license is a privilege, not a right. It's important to follow the rules of the road and take driving seriously, just simply to avoid all these consequences that are completely uncalled for and unnecessary. Now, um, let's talk about what happens when you get pulled over. Okay, so especially, this is very important for beginner drivers out there who have no idea what to expect. We have all been through there because everybody um, gets nervous on when it comes to that. Like, what's going to happen whenever the cop, you know, pulls me over? What do I do? Well, when you see the flashing lights behind you, the first thing to do is remain calm, signal, and safely pull to the right of the road as soon as possible. Once you're stopped, turn off your engine and roll down your window. If it's nighttime, turn on your interior lights so the officer can see inside your vehicle clearly. Keep your hands on the steering wheel where the officer can see them. Avoid reaching for anything until you are asked to do so. When the officer um, approaches your vehicle, they will likely ask you for your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance. Inform the officer where these items are before you reach for them. Say that you're gonna go get them. Now be polite and respectful. Answer the officer's questions and honestly, um, don't give more information than necessary. Just straight to the point. 
If you don't understand why you're being pulled over, it is perfectly normal and okay to ask for clarification. If you don't, um, I mean, if you do receive a ticket, don't argue with the officer. I mean, if you don't think it's fair, just keep it, keep calm, keep it to yourself. You will have the opportunity to contest the ticket in court if you believe it was unjustified. So if you are asked to step out of your vehicle, do so calmly, follow all the instructions. This could be for multiple reasons, um, including the suspect of DUI or a vehicle search. Remember, the goal is to take traffic, um, the traffic stop as safe and possible and smooth and make it easy for you and the officer, right? So just be calm. That's the main, the main advice I can give you. Just remain calm and just do what you ask for. With that being said, thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Driving TV for more upcoming videos that I will be posting uh, very, very, very soon. If not tomorrow and this whole entire week, nothing but amazing videos, um, especially whatever you have left in the comments. I got you. I will be posting those and thank you so much as well for commenting, for leaving me your feedback. I really appreciate it. With that being said, thank you so much and see you in the next one.